More from a Congolese activist, Vava Tampa, who joins me now from London. Uh, Vava, good to have you on the show. Uh, now, several surveys have said that this, if these elections were fair, if they were free, uh, that the opposition uh, could walk away as, as a winner. Uh, does, does Martin Fayulu really have a shot at this? Well, if the elections were free, fair, transparent, and inclusive and nonviolent, of course, certainly Martin Fayulu would have won it. But everything we have seen so far indicates that the election which is scheduled for tomorrow, Sunday the 30th, it's neither going to be fair, neither transparent, inclusive, or, or nonviolent. And which essentially lead us to another question, which is what happens afterward? What happens after the 30th of December? What happens when, you know, three provinces, three um, opposition strongholds have been essentially excluded from the election? What happens to the result when, um, you know, 1,000 voting station in Kinshasa, representing over uh, half a million voters, are essentially ex excluded uh, from taking taking part in the process. What is our response to it? What is the response of the international okay. community? What should be the response of countries such as Turkey and other neutral countries across the world? Okay, so let, let's actually pick up on that. Uh, we've said that three opposition strongholds have been excluded from, uh, from taking part in Sunday's election. Uh, the country's electoral commission yeah. has already delayed these, uh, these elections. Uh, some members of Congolese uh, uh, DRC's community have said that this is just another way of the country's election commission to, uh, to keep the president in power. Uh, now you have opposition parties mm -hmm. calling for a nationwide strike. Uh, how do you expect the next 24 mm -hmm. hours and beyond to play out? Well, it, it, I mean, I, I spent, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you, I spent the whole of yesterday, Friday, incredibly depressed. And depressed because I was asking myself a few questions. And one of the questions is, how many more people are we going to lose? And, 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 you know, in those protests, in those fights. Um, and I was also asking myself, what happens to the future of 81 million people? Because we definitely know with certainty that there are two options that Kabila is playing. One is he wants either to remain in power, to cling in power, um, and he's going to do that by either essentially cancelling the result of the election or postponing the election and, and using, arguing that, um, you know, they were neither free, fair or transparent and so on and so forth, when he's the one who actually organized it. Mm -hmm. And he organized it to be as such so that he can remain in power. So that's one option. And the second option, he wants his cousin and former interior minister, um, who, you know, Emmanuel Shad Ramazani Shadari, to win the elections so that his family family could continue in power. And if that happens in those two options, essentially our people, 81 million people, their future would be in ruin. Um, they will not have no future whatsoever. In addition to all of that, we are going to face more insecurity, okay. more violence, more crisis, more famine, and more everything nasty that we have experienced. So the question, what we are saying, what we have been saying from the onset, and what we are still saying on the eve of this crisis going off is it's time for Sadek the Southern African community, as well as the international community as a whole, to come together and to actually say with one single voice, the way the Congolese people have been saying from the onset, that the best way forward is a civilian transition without Kabila, led by someone like Denis Mukwege, so that we can organize an election that will be free, fair, transparent, um, to, re to return Congo to peace. And that okay. option should remain on the table if these elections are anything but free, fair, transparent. Okay. Congolese activist Baba Tampa, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World.